of the perks of this line of work is getting to sit down with so many amazing players. Many of whom you may have even grown up listening to. And one of those highlights was undoubtedly our meeting with the amazing Frank Gimbali. Frank is of course a technique pioneer, but it's one thing to have great technique and another thing to actually have cool stuff to say on the instrument. And every time Frank picks up the guitar, man, amazing music happens. That kind of thing is just magic to me. We did two takes of this intro ballad, each of which was four or five minutes long, and each take was just packed with these little melody moments. I couldn't pick a favorite, so we included both of them. And the awesome Levi Clay did the transcriptions, and I know that um, that could not have been easy. <laughs> so I'd like to officially apologize to him right now. I'd also like to thank Frank for giving us an up-close look at, let's face it, some of the most influential fingers in guitar because what we discovered with the camera was totally awesome. From a mechanic standpoint, the glue, if you will, that binds Frank's world will be familiar to anyone who's ever watched Frank play, and it's this. Yeah, that, exactly. There's a little bit of this, yeah, you know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like leaning into corners if you're on a motorcycle. This leaning into corners, as Frank puts it, is what we call, in cracking the code lingo, pick slanting. And doing it in both directions like this is two-way pick slanting. By leaning the pick in the direction of the picking motion, or in the direction of the sweep, you can get a little extra smoothness as the pick slides over the strings. And this is, of course, important because Frank is indeed a two-way sweeper. But the tricky and much less obvious part of this is that when Frank clicks into these two pick slanting modes, he actually changes his alternate picking motion to match. For example, when he uses the upward pick slant, he also uses a slanted alternate picking motion. If you've never seen this kind of thing up close before, this can look a little strange. Frank's basically picking on a diagonal. This type of diagonal motion is what we call a downstroke escape picking motion because downstrokes are basically going up in the air or escaping from in between the strings. And this escaping motion is how he gets those amazing evil Knievel airborne leaps that connect many of his signature phrases together. Now when Frank clicks into downward pick slanting mode, which is this one, he switches the alternate picking motion to this alternate picking motion. And this is your upstroke escape alternate picking motion. It basically lets Frank do the evil Knievel trick, but during upstrokes this time instead of downstrokes. All of which gives us possibilities. When you put these four pieces together, the upstroke sweep, the DSX alternate picking motion, the downstroke sweep, and the USX alternate picking motion, you get the all-conquering system that Frank calls Gembali sweeping. It is more than just sweeping an arpeggio here and there, and it is more than just occasionally doing some alternate picking. It is a form of economized guitar playing, where alternate picking and sweeping are mechanically merged to accomplish things that would be tricky with either one of them by themselves. In this four-part series, we're gonna look at the how of how Gembali sweeping works. In this first installment, we're outline some of the core challenges of alternate picking, and take a look at why Frank's system made certain things so much easier for so many people. In the second video, we're gonna look at this concept of escaped picking motion, particularly the diagonal or what we call single escape kind that Frank uses during sweeping. In the third video, we're gonna talk about pick slanting, and we're gonna look at how it helps to connect these two worlds of sweeping and alternate picking. And finally, in the last installment, we're gonna put all of these pieces together into the full-blown Gimbali sweeping system. And as a bonus, we'll also look at a fifth motion, which is the double escape picking motion, which is something we weren't even expecting to see under the camera and didn't even know that Frank was doing. But it is amazingly similar to the kind of technique you might see from someone like Steve Morse or even bluegrass players. It took us a long time of looking at footage and honestly thousands of hours of doing this kind of work to boil down the technical subjects that we're tackling in these features. 
some of this stuff is deceptively tricky, especially when it comes to the linking of pick slanting and sweeping. So we'd like to thank Frank for being so open with his era defining chops and of course for laying down all this blazing playing for us to look at. So without further ado, let us get on with the Gembali sweeping. 